Mid-County and its Mexican food. It seems like there's a restaurant at every corner. In fact, in just a four-mile radius, we counted 13. And we can't forget Taco Bell. It's Mexican food, right? That makes 14. So what separates one from another? Fresh, fresh, fresh right here. Awesome stuff. But Tamale King has survived four years and is growing strong with his niche as king of the tamales, while others, unfortunately, have had to close shop. But Mexican restaurants continue to pop up in Mid-County. Along Highway 69, there's four in a one-mile stretch. And while they have their more modern buildings, Taco Ray, they do it old school. From their recognizable patriotic car out front with two front ends to their cash register, dates back to the 1900s. It's all homemade, the same as we started. Mary Ramirez's husband liked her cooking so much, he encouraged his wife to start the business back in 1960. And more than 50 years later, the recipes are the same and the customers keep coming back. When you come in here, I feel like home, yeah. I like it. I love it. You got a regular thing you get every time? Three tacos. And then uh, with a little chili con queso and a sweet tea is to die for. Dolores Ramirez Hamilton now runs the family business alongside mom and other family members. And they'll continue to operate the same way they have for more than five decades. We have the same recipe for the homemade tortillas and we're making them the same as we, when we first started, you know, roll them by hand. We don't have a machine. And with endorsements from people like Earl Campbell who said he loved it and the regulars like Tina Touche future remains bright. Mucho caliente, come to taco, right? Hey. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Cut me off here. So whatever direction you drive in from, the Ramirez family will be there to greet you. In Nederland, James Ware reporting for The Morning Show.